Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today we're playing Early in the Morning. We're doing the William Clark version. It's a rumba-style blues, so check out my lesson on rumba blues if you want to learn more about that style. But today we're going to be looking at the solo he does at the start of this song. It's a gorgeous solo on a C harmonica, and we're going to go through it line by line with the tab on the screen. There's going to be some bends on two and holes three, so it's a great exercise for intermediates and those looking to practice their bending skills as well. It sounds something like this. Okay, so it's a lovely sounding thing, got a really distinctive style to it, and it only uses holes one to four, but we're making great use of the bends on two and three and getting some lovely sounds out of those holes. So line A is something like this. Okay, so we've got two draw, two draw, then one draw, two draw, second bend. and then one draw, one blow, and then one draw again, and then two draw, two draw, one draw, two draw, second bend. So it finishes that line on a bend. You've got to be really confident with that note in order to play it for that long and hold it like he does. So line A is played twice. And then there's a chord change. And so we change what we're playing and we play. Okay, so we've got four blow three times, then three draw semitone bend, and then a two draw, two blow, one draw, and then four blow twice, two draw, or three blow, and a three blow might even make more sense. They're the same note, but three blow is easier to reach. And then a three and four draw warble. Now he puts a bit of a bend on this, okay, so if you've learn to warble three and four that's that's cool and that's fine but you you want to try and get a little bit of a dip a bit of a bend on those so and it fits with the chord to do that because a three draw without a bend doesn't quite fit with the chord a four draw bend doesn't quite fit with the chord but it sounds kind of bluesy and it and it kind of works so three and four draw with a bit of a bend to it so the line would be okay if you put those two together and i'm just going to play line a once because there's no point me playing it twice just to for this example. But if I play line A and then line B, it sounds something like this. Okay, brilliant. So that's lines A and B. Line C is actually just a repeat of line A. So we go back to the original line. If you think about a 12 bar blues structure, if you're familiar with that, that's because we're going back to the original chord. So we're gonna repeat the line we've played previously. It's a great trick for players to do this because it keeps the listener feeling safe if you return to something you know. He could easily play something different in this context, but it's a great idea to play something the listener has already heard earlier over that chord because it 
grounds them and makes it feel kind of safe. So let's try A, B and C. I am going to play line A twice this time. So we're doing it as if we were playing the song. Okay. So we'll go on four. One, two, three, four. And again. Line B. Line C. Messed up that line. You know, you get the idea. <laughs> Sometimes you end up with too much spit in your instrument. Uh, so, line D we would be getting onto the five chord here. By the way, if this is all over your head, check out my video on 12 bar blues structure to learn a bit, little bit more about that. But if you can picture a 12 bar blues structure, we're on line nine at this point. So, or bar nine rather. So we've got bar nine is the five chord, then we've got the four chord, then we go back to the one chord. So for the five chord, we're gonna go. So it's all on hold four, and we've just got Draw, 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 blow, draw, blow, draw. Okay, that's not too bad, we can do that. And then, line E, we've got... So we've got a four draw, four blow, Three draw second bend, three draw first bend, two draw, two blow, one draw. So let's try lines D and E together. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three, four. Good, good. We've got one line left and it's line F. So it's similar to line A, but the end of it is slightly different. So we've got the two two draws, and then the one draw, two draw second bend, and then one draw, one blow, one draw. So it's kind of like the start of line A, but we've got to think about the rhythm. Whereas in line A, da 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 ba da ba da, whereas we're going. Da da um, ba da ba da. We've got a little turnaround there to finish off the 12 bar blues. So let's just try that last line because it might need a bit of work if you've got used to playing the notes in the rhythm they were on line A. So let's go one, two, three, four. And again. By the way, I probably should have mentioned, I'm not sure if it's every one of these lines because I haven't really thought about it, but a lot of these lines start just after the one, okay? So they don't actually start on the first beat of the bar. So I'm saying I'll count you in on four, but we're going one, two, three, four, one. Da da na ba na ba na ba ba one. Ba da da ba da boom. Four one ba 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 by the way, if you're interested in learning a bit more about how to play a rumba backing to this, check out my lesson on playing a rumba blues. But that would be something worth thinking about coming in just after the one, okay? 
Uh, probably should have mentioned that earlier. Let's go right back to the start and play the whole thing, lines A to F, all together now. Okay, and we're going to count in one, two, three, four, but then we're going to leave a rest on beat one. So I'm not going to say one because I'm going to be getting ready with my harmonica, but we'll go one, two, three, four. Ba, ba, mm, ba. So there's an extra click just before I start, or a tap. I'm going to do a tap. One, two, three, four. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So that is the solo at the start of Early in the Morning by William Clark. There's a gorgeous solo in the middle, which I haven't got time to go through, but perhaps I will create uh, another lesson for that and I can put a link perhaps to that. Also, I play this song a lot with my electric band, so I'll put a link in so you can hear my electric band playing this live. Please give me your comments, questions and queries regarding this lesson and anything else harmonica related. You can put comments beneath the video or you can email me contact at learntheharmonica.com. You can also find me on Facebook by looking for learntheharmonica.com and you can find me on Twitter at learntheharp. It's great to find me on those as well because we've got a great community of harmonica players all sorts of levels from absolute beginner to professional and you'll learn a lot more by getting involved with that community as well. I hope to see you on there and until then enjoy your playing. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Oh.